Today we want to force a failure on the $199 Harbor Freight trailer to see what finally gives. The first test was the safety chain yank. I had done safety chain drags in the past, but never a true yank. It handled the yank just fine. The next test was closed course in Mexico road racing. The tires and bearings survived 105 miles per hour, and it actually handled great while being whipped around, but we did get it to flip when we whipped it just right. Next, we slapped it around a beat up rallycross track, but that didn't do anything to it at all, so we stepped it up to the Baja test, throwing it around in desert terrain, but it was actually actually just amazing how well it rides through that stuff. In a fit of frustration as an ultimate test, I once again hooked it up to the old Forerunner to just whip it around into oblivion because I don't care how beat up the Forerunner gets. After a whole day of trying to break it, we discovered that the tongue of the trailer is probably the weak link, but the trailer came out of this still towable, kinda, and this leads me to believe that all the doubts I had about these trailers were likely only because of people who did something really wrong during assembly blame the materials instead of themselves. I have a video right here with a more in-depth look at this trailer and what it's been through all these years, so click right here to give it a watch. 